Hello, my beautiful reader friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Tiffany with an IE, as you can see. And today I will be doing the Tis the Season book tag. This was originally created by Bookishly Richie, and I will link his video down below. And also all the books that I mentioned in this book tag, I will also link down below. And um, I braided my hair to go with Elsa on my shirt, and this is Jack Frost from Rise of the Guardians, and this is Olaf, of course. This is my <laughs> this is my favorite shirt from Tea Turtle. Um, they actually had a Black Friday sale, so I got some more shirts. But um, yeah, I thought this was very fitting since it's December and Christmas is coming and everything, and I got a new plushie. Isn't she cute? Her name is Cecilia. C-E-C-I-L-A. L-I-A. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'll put it on the screen so you can know how to spell her name um, because I obviously did not spell it right. Um, yeah, so I got this at Michael's. She's very cute. Um, I have a bunch of uh, little stuffed animals like this as well. But um, anyways, let's get into the tag. So the first question is, do you have a favorite winter read? And for this, I chose A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is a really pretty edition that I got. Um, on the back, it says, I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. And um, yeah, it also has pictures and stuff. But um, this is the Wordsworth edition. Um, I really like these editions because they're really pretty. So I have a bunch of books that are these really pretty editions, by the way. Um, and I will show them in a future video when I show all the pretty books that I own because I definitely buy things if they're pretty. And that that goes for books as well. <laughs> so yeah, so this is my favorite winter read. Um, the next question is find a book with blue on the cover. And for this, I chose The Little Prince by um, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. Um, this book I actually read um, in French class in my junior year of high school, and um, I absolutely loved it. Um, I read it in English first before I read it in French. Um, but yeah, this this is <laughs> this is a great book. Um, my ring light is totally reflecting on it. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's like pictures and stuff. Um, this is a pretty well-known story, so yeah, if you haven't read The Little Prince, definitely recommend. The next question is, find a book you'd use as the star on a Christmas tree. And I chose two books for this. Um, the first one, of course, I would definitely choose, um, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Um, this is my pretty gold edition. I took the dust jacket off, but it's still gold and pretty um, underneath. So yeah, but um, definitely this because usually Christmas stars on the top of, um, or the gold star on top of a Christmas tree is gold. So this kind of goes with that. Um, the other book I chose is because it has the word star in the title. And um, that is The Midnight Star by Marie Lu. And this is the third book in the Young Elites trilogy. And it's just such a pretty cover. And all the stars and the night sky on this cover, it just like, yeah, it's just so beautiful and festive. The next question, pick one fictional place that would be perfect for a winter vacation. For this, um, I would choose Narnia. I have my box set here. Um, I love these editions. They're very pretty. Um, I'll take them out really quick, but see, I have The Magician's Nephew, and then I have um, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, the Voyage of the Dawn Treader. This one's one of my favorite covers. The Silver Chair. This was Book Snake before Book Snake was a thing on BookTube. And yeah. And The Last Battle. So I absolutely love the Narnia series. And um, yeah, so definitely read Narnia if you haven't. My hair is starting to be a mess. 
Um, okay, <laughs> the next question is, pick one fictional character you take with you on your winter vacation. Uh, for this, I chose August from the Savage Song by this... Let, let me try that again. So, um, this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Um, there are two main characters, Kate and August, and Kate is a human, but she wants to be a monster like her dad. Um, monstrous as in the fictional sense of it. And um, August is an actual monster. Um, I have this Sunai candle, actually, from one of the owl crate boxes. Now, it smells like green apple. It it smells so yummy, but um, yeah, so August is one of the three monsters. He's a Sunai, um, and um, it actually has to do with why there's a musical instrument on the cover, but um, yeah, it's just, August is just so precious. He has a cinnamon roll. Um, he's a monster who wants to be human, and um, I would just want to take him with me on my winter vacation to be like, let's get out of your like terrible town and um just have like you know a chill time away from it and yeah i mean like if anyone deserves a vacation he's he's one of the book characters i, I would say definitely deserves some he definitely deserves someone to be nice to him <laughs> is what i would say i absolutely cannot talk right now um yeah okay <laughs> The next question is, name one book on your wish list this year. Um, I'll pop up an image for this, and um, this would be Nessie Quest by Melissa Savage. And um, the cover is so cute, it has the Loch Ness monster on it, and I just thought it was adorable. I think it's middle grade too, so this is one of the many books that I would want for Christmas this year. And if no one gets it for me, I'm going to get it for myself, so <laughs> yeah. And the last question is favorite holiday drink, treat, and movie. Um, I would definitely say hot chocolate with whipped cream. Um, it's so delicious. Um, I'll pop up an image, um, actually two images. One of them is a Google image, but the other one with like the heart whipped cream on it is um, from Forum, which is this really awesome coffee house and tea shop here in San Diego. And it's really cute because all the things on the menu, like, um, both the food and the drinks. They have all these techie names like Error 404 and Double Post and Firewall. <laughs> like, it's so cute. Um, yeah, and I'm just sad that like because of lockdown, it's one of the places that's closed and it's only open for takeout, but their hours have been um, significantly reduced. So yeah, so usually, I mean, they would be closed right now. So yeah very sad, but um, I love their hot chocolate. It's made from like real chocolate chips and it's just so delicious and really great for um, this cold weather right now. <laughs> this cold like 50, 60 degree weather in San Diego. <laughs> um, and then my favorite treat, um, I would say are gingerbread cookies. Um, I was trying to find the picture that I made with my neighbor a long time, like the picture of the gingerbread cookies that I baked with my neighbor a long time ago. Um, if I find it, I'll pop up an image. If not, you'll just get this Google image. Um, or you might get both. But yeah, I love gingerbread cookies. Um, I'm not a fan of much other things that are ginger. Like, I like ginger ale, but I think that's pretty much it because ginger snaps, which are another type of cookie, they taste like ginger and I just I can't like if it tastes like ginger I'm like I'm out <laughs> and my favorite movie I would say this is um good for both Halloween and Christmas but um the nightmare before Christmas um yeah I mean it's great if you haven't watched it go watch it <laughs> it's just wonderful um yeah so that is it for this tag hope you liked it and um, we'll chat in the comments down below. See you next time. Bye!